Hello and welcome to Start to Print. Today we're going to look at the Graphtech CE7000. Today we'll be going through some of the basic yet essential features of your Graphtech CE7000 and its software. And for your viewing pleasure, this is the fast forward version of the unboxing. So here it is, unboxed. The next step is to install the Graphtech Pro Studio software using your installation disc found in the box. You will also need the activation code which is found on the pink sheet. Okay, power on. Now plug in the USB. The blue tabs are for roller alignment. The extended tab on the right is for the right hand roller. The rollers push into place like this. This is the roller clamp handle. Once the rollers are aligned, this will clamp the medium in place. This is the cutter blade, and these are the cutter housing components. Insert blade, sharp edge down into the blue cutter housing, then place both components into the black cutter housing. Ensure blade protrudes by 0.5 to 1mm. Adjustments are made by turning the black cutter housing at the bottom. Insert the blade housing into the blade holder and ensure that the grey tab is above the housing bezel. Now to insert the media to be cut. Today we will be feeding the media from the front, where you'd usually feed from the back off the roll. Ensure that the clamps are in line with the blue tabs, like this, and then close the clamp. The title screen shows our options. The conned test button shows us the settings window. The arrow indicates which tool we are using. The arrow indicates the cutting speed. This arrow indicates cutting force. Select Enter when settings have been changed. OK, now we can select the project to cut using the Graphtech Pro Studio software. Select the file option from the top left hand of your screen, then from the drop down menu select open. This will open the file option window. From this you can select the file of your choice, but we are going to select the lion option. Select open to choose this file. For Graphtech to cut this image it first needs to be vectored. This is done by clicking the bitmap tab and choosing vectorize and auto trace from the drop down menu. Using the mouse drag the cursor over the image to be vectored. Now click the cutting tab at the top of the screen. This will open the cutting window. This window allows you to alter the orientation and the positioning of your project. Pressing the F button will mirror the object which is what is needed when cutting vinyl for clothing etc. Finally, you can alter the sizing using the sizing tabs before pressing the send button to start the cutting. the finish. 
fresh cut. Now for the weeding. Now this is ready for applying to the substrate and putting in the heating press, which will be the subject of our next video. Ok, that was your Graphtech CE7000 open box tutorial and we are Starts Print, suppliers of all your printing and sublimation products. Thinking of starting your own business? Working from home or have an existing business that needs more equipment? Start to Print can help you do that. Our UK packages come with all the equipment you can see here. The presses, the computer, the printer and the cutter. We even supply you with some t-shirts and cups to get you started. So we've supplied the equipment, the training, in-house and online and after sales support. If you have the training in-house, you can have a cup of tea or a coffee. If you like the video, please like us on all these social media apps. Look forward to seeing you again at Start to Print.